Hey, what's up, guys? Sports to here. I'm back again today with some more MLB 14 show Houston Astros franchise here, guys. We're back again with Kyle Crick on the mound today, guys. My A potential prospect that we got in the trade with the San Francisco 40, uh, San Francisco 49ers, San Francisco Giants, I mean. And he's going to be taking his uh, making major league debut today, taking the mound for us against Ricky Nolasco and the Minnesota Twins. We are at home again today at Minute Maid Park. Kind of a dreary day here, cloudy, overcast here. And it's 32 and 27 Astros with 27 and 37 Twins. So let's see if we can knock off the Twins today. Running Ron Gardenhire there to see the manager. And let's check out the Twins lineup for today's ball game. We got the Nerds band, Danny Santana, Stephen Piscotti, Oswaldo Arcia, Jason Kubel, Josh Mel Pinto, Trevor Plouffe, Josh Willingham, and Eddie Rosario rounds it out. Man, good lineup there for them. And here you see Kyle Crick here, the 6'2", 220-pound right-hander, 22 years of age. And like I said, a potential, and he has a lot of good future really here in the MLB and for the Ashes organization. So, super glad he's on our team. Let's see what he can go, and let's see what he can do for us, guys. Let's jump right into the game here. It's an arts bat leading off one-two count, and that's a beautiful slider. And look at that, guys. First career strikeout for Kyle Crick on his first batter, and he strikes him out. You see that first major strikeout. Pretty awesome for the Crick. That's one retired. Next batter here is Eddie Rosario, and the pitch is going to be a little uh, ground ball here. It's going to be knocked off of Crick, and uh, Costco cannot pick it up. It's going to be an infield single for him. So now, that man on first base. Here comes Piscotti. Ground ball to Costa. Go flipping to second. And L2, they fired a first, but not in time. So we get one, but not the second. Maybe two outs now with a runner on first base. That's going to bring up the Oswaldo Arcia. Here's going to hit a base, hitting to right field in front of our right field. The almost out there trying to get him at first base. But uh, nope, not going to happen. So it's going to be first and second. Now here comes Jason Kubel. And the next pitch is going to be down the right field line. That's a base hit. And one runner is rounding third base. He will score. Piscotti scoring. and But they're going to hold up Arcia at third. So second and third there. But the run does score. There's one nothing Twins early on in this, in this game. Here comes Josh Malpinto up now. 1-0 count. And this pitch is going to be lined in the center field going back. And he made the catch there. And Springer goes back, grabs the ball. and But uh, he retires the side. So it's still one we're going to run there. Crick gives up one on the Kubel double there. So, what, nevertheless, it is still one nothing Twins. So let's, so, let's see what the Astros can do now in this uh, inning here. So, you got Correa, Altuve, Carter, Springer playing center today. Castro, Presley, and DH, and Kyle Costa playing third. Santana in there at right. And then Grossman in at left and rounding things out. And I'm taking a Ricky Nolasco 3 3 in the year with a 4.19 ERA, 12 games, 77.1 innings, 88 hits, 15 walks, 46 strikeouts. Here comes Correa now. The first pitch is going to be lined into right field, and that's going to be a base hit down the right field line for Correa. He's got good speed going into second base. Piscotti cannot handle it, and it's going to be a nice double there for Carlos Correa. Here comes Jose, Jose Altuve now. And the next pitch is going to be a nice curveball there. He's going to ground it right to the second baseman, and he's going to retire, retire Altuve who gets uh, out with a ground ball, but we do advance the runner, so a 3-0 count here for Carter. Next, and it's going to be a walk, so a four-pitch walk there, given up by Nolasco, first and third now. Here comes Springer, once again, a 3-0 count, six straight balls here. And we'll see if, if Nolasco can get a strike. Nope, a high slider, making this not one. It's eight straight balls from Nolasco. He walks two batters in a row. Here comes Jason Castro up now. Bases loaded, 2-1 count the pitch. Is it going to be a ground ball for a 4-6? The re-double play, retiring the side. Exactly what Ricky Nolasco wanted to do there. And it's going to retire the side. It's still 1-0 to wins after the first inning. So later in the bottom of the 30, now 3-2 count for Ricky Nolasco. He's going to get Chris, Chris Carter to bat into a single here in the center field in front of Span. So we'll see if we can get some run on the board here. That's going to break up now. George Springer, 2-1 count, two outs in the pitch. That's going to be another slot. That's going to be driven into right, the left center field. That's going to be a deep one up against the wall. Carter is going to be rounding third base. Span gets it into the cutoff, man. And we're sending Carter the throw at home. It is offline, way offline. Carter is in the score as Sparrow goes into third with a triple. Great run there, guys. Now 1-1 one to one, as you see you're facing uh, actually Danny Santana now. And he's going to hit this, this ball off the wall. And he's going to get it in. Grossman cannot get it. Sparrow going to fire it into the cutoff, man. So Twins getting in business here. Santana with a double. Now here comes Piscotti. He's going to hit a looping base hit. That's going to be into the gap. And that's going to score a second run in there. Santana rounding third. He will score. And it's going to be a double for Piscotti. Crick getting into a little bit of trouble in this inning. But later he's got 
Um, as well, RC is going to hit into line out right to the right fielder Santana, and that will retire the side. So Crick gives up another one, but it's still only 2-1, to one, very manageable for our Astros to see if they can come back here in the later innings. Alrighty, so here we go. Next batter here has to be Josh Malpinto. He's going to hit it's a weak ground ball. Carter steps on the back, and that will retire the side. So once again, the Twins go down in order there. So now bottom to sixth. Once again, look at Costa. He's hitting a weak ground ball, weak fly out here. And that's going to retire the side. So um, teams trading outs right here. Three up, three down for both teams. So later at the top of the seventh here. Later, it's going to be a little weak um, you know, line out right to Costa. That's retiring the side once again. So a great outing for Kyle Crick. As you see, he's been replaced by Asher Wojciechowski, 4-5 in the year the 4.91 ERA, formerly a starter. Now he's going to be the bullpen for the time being. But a great start for Crick, guys. He only gave up two earned, and he was really phenomenal. We're going to see Crick holds out two of hits a base, almost a base hit, but a phenomenal play by the first baseman there. And that's going to be a great play, retiring the Steiner. So here comes Josh Coleman up now. We'll be facing Carter, I mean Springer, with the 1-2 count and two outs. This is the bottom of the eighth inning, still 2-1 to one twins, and Springer... Is gonna strike out swing on that change up there. It was a ball, it was a low pitch, but he got him to bite. So that's going to retire the side. And here comes Jer Burton, their closer with 12 saves in the year, 3.18 ERA. He's gonna face JC Castro with a two out count. He's at the bottom of the ninth. Let's see if we can get some runs, see if we can get Jader Burton. The pitch is gonna be deep in the right center field. It is high, it is deep, and it is gone. Our solo shot home run. This game is all tied up. Can you say extra innings? I certainly can. Two to two. The Astros pick up a big, 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 big home run there by Jason Castro. 2-2. Two to two. That's the all-star catcher we know. Oh, what a phenomenal home run there by Castro. And that's going to result in the Twins actually changing their pitcher. Here comes Casey Finn back in. 2-3 on the year with one save. 5.25 ERA. So he said here comes Pinto. And oh, here we go. Oswaldo Garcia just hit a solo shot home run on Ash, Asher Wojciechowski, giving the Twins the lead once again now, 3-2. to two, and They march right back in the lead. This is not what Asher wanted to give up right there. So here comes Dominguez, bottom of the 10th inning. Finn still on the mound, 3-2 Twins, 1-0 pitch. Nobody out. The pitch is going to be a line drive base hit into left field. Going to be cut off by Kubel, but nonetheless still a base hit. So here comes Correa now, 2-2 count. The pitch is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman, and he'll fire onto first base and barely gets Correa just by a step right there, but advances the runner. So here comes Garen Ciccini, looking to maybe see if I can get him in there. Jose Altuve over four on the day so far, and we're going to see if we can go with a little bit of uh, pinch hit magic here. We're going to bring in Garen Ciccini, and uh, he's getting the day off today. Let's see if we can uh, give him the 3-1 count. The pitch is going to be a high ball, so probably like a, like a you know intentional walk kind of there, setting up maybe for a double play. But Ciccini walks down the last. So 2-2 two -two count for Carter. One out. The pitch is going to be strike three called, looking on the two-seam fastball. And now 1-1 one -one count for Springer. He's going to hit a double play. No, he's going to just gonna hit right to the second baseman who fires on, and that is the game, guys. So the Twins beat the Astros. 3-2, we fall to the Twins. So, unfortunately, they beat us. There was a good hard-fought game. We almost had it with Kasher hitting that home run. That was super exciting. But then, of course, um, Wojciechowski gave up that home run to uh, Arcia. So, it was a good hard-fought game. It wins, uh, you know, beat us out there. So, 3-2, they get the victory. Nonetheless, a great start from Kyle Crick. I was really pleased with him. Um, he was really good. Wojciechowski did good in the three innings, but just gave up one of that big one mistake. But, uh, yeah, good game all around. But Crick was, Crick was good. That's why I really wanted to see how Crick was doing. He only gave up two earned, and I think he really had a great day. So I'm really impressed with him, and he will be the fifth starter probably for a little bit here. But, guys, I found a trade I wanted to do. I got Jonathan VR here. He's on my team's beat potential, but he's really struggled this year. I think we get some value for him. And Robbie Grossman's been that guy that's been up and down. He's been terrible at the major league level, but he's been solid at AAA. And I wanted to get some more depth and good prospects. So nonetheless, we got Devin Marari batting 321 shortstop prospects, 73 overall. We'll trade him for VR, who's a 73 overall beat potential. And I'd rather get this Marari kid. He's doing better. So let's see if they uh, they consider that, sending that off, see if we can be able to get that one. But later here, we're going to simulate. We see Tyler Hyman, our backup catcher. Three to four weeks of MCL sprain resulting in us, as you see here, Kyle, Carlos Perez. You'll see in one minute. There he is. He's at AAA right now. We got him in the uh, Rangers trade, of course, you see uh, early on last year. And uh, we're going to call him up. You see Devin Marrero there. He's on the team. They accepted the Red Sox, accepted a trade, and we got a top prospect uh, once again now in our farm system. We're also going to add Gary Brown because we need an uh, sure, um outfielder because of Grossman being traded. So Gary Brown, welcome back to the team. 26-year-old's beat potential. 
And he was uh, good to see him you know, bring up Perez right there. 224 in the year in uh, AAA. But uh, I'll see if we can do something to add him to the Major League roster and see if he can uh, produce at the Major League level. So, and once again, kind of just looking around here. I've got our prospects for just one second. You see, I wanted to bring up another infielder there because he's traded VR. So, I have Torres, um, Ronald Torres here. I'm going to bring him up, give him a chance because he's been, he's been looking pretty good. He's only 22. And I think Marrero is keeping him down there for a little longer. And there's the standings, guys. We're 41 and 37, just one game behind the Mariners. So, we're hanging around with them. The next episode, guys, will be Mark Capella and Rick Procello taking on in Comerica Park, guys. So thanks for watching. Leave if you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode.